Hi, this is Thorsten Schmidt and welcome to the NMS Prime channel. In this video I want to speak about which open source tools do you need to get a cable modem online so to run the provisioning process for a DOCSIS cable modem successfully. If you don't know my last video or one of my last videos which was called cable modem registration process how it works then maybe check out this video before, I will put the link in the description. And in this video I have just explained how the entire cable modem registration in the DOCSIS network works. So this is a good introduction to this video. And in this video I want to show you the services, which are all open source and available in any standard Linux distribution, which you can use to register or bring a cable modem online with only open source tools. So let's jump in. The first service that we are needing uh, to register a cable modem in the DOCSIS standard uh, is the DHCP service, so the dynamic host client protocol. And in any Linux distribution, there is the uh, ISC DHCP available. And I just want to print the name under which you can install it in CentOS Prime or in Red Hat, the package is called DHCP. So, okay, this is the first service. ISC means Internet Standard Consortium, so it's really the basic implementation of a DHCP server. And this service or this package especially is deployed worldwide, I guess, a million times. And um, there are many million devices uh, using ISC DHCP implementation. So this is really a strong service you can rely on and this is the first thing. The second thing that we need is the TFTP service which is the Trivial File Transfer Protocol and this service is um, especially required for the cable modems to get the config file from the provisioning system. So the package in CentOS is called TFTB. And this is also really a standard implementation. So you can just install it by yum install TFTP and then you will have the TFTP service running. So the third one um, is not this common or is not this popular and is not available in the Linux standard distribution. It's the called DOCSIS tool, which was uh, or which is hosted as searchforce.net, and the DOCSIS tool can be used to create your own config files. So I will put the link in the description of the DOCSIS tool. It is hosted as SourceForge, as I um, uh, as I noticed it or as I explained. And what that does the DOCSIS tool? The DOCSIS tool can be used to encrypt a normal text config file into a standard config file which a cable modem will understand. So it's just uh, one way to translate a normal text config file into a DOCSIS config file. And they also implement the way back. So it's really a cool tool. It, I guess it implements all the kind of standard um, DOCSIS stuff which is required to compile your config files and compile it the way back. So this is a cool tool and the last service that you need um, or the last project that you need is just um, to implement time of day service. So time of day is a simplified version of the network timing protocol, which many cable modems use during booting. And this can be realized using a normal um, Xynet D service. So Xynet D um, is implemented or is installed from default in a CentOS package. And all the things that you need to Google is, uh, or that you need to check out, is time, let's call it time minus dgram. And then you can implement the time of day service. So it was time of day, cnet day, 
And I guess the time of day protocol is a normal UDP protocol, which is really simple and it listens on port 37. So, okay, these are the four open source standard tools which you will need to bring a cable modem successfully online. Um, if you don't know yet, the project NMS Prime, that's an open source project which we are initiating and this project uses all these services and you can check it out online. I will put the link in the description. And with NMS Prime, we combine these four tools together and try to maximize it and to bring it to the customer to enable an easy way to get these services running together and use it successfully in your network. So of course you can check out in our repository, the project is hosted at GitHub, how we use the services and how we combine them. So in NMS Prime we have one more service which we are using, but that is not really required to bring a cable modem online. So the next service that we are using is called Bind. And BIND is a name service, it's also from the uh, ISC, I guess, from the Internet Standard Consortium. And we use it to, or maybe I will make a special video about it, we use it some kind to enable fully dynamically IP addresses. But if you want a simple implementation, you do not need BIND at the first time. So, okay, as I explained, maybe check out the NMS Prime project. Or check out these services if you want to implement it on your own and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter if you like the content or if you're interested in more of this stuff and thanks for watching we will see you in the next video